Thank you. Okay. 47,000 displaced Sudanese people live in this Juba camp. Throughout the world, there are 33 million internally displaced people who are forced to leave their homes because of violence, armed conflict, and human rights violations. Worldwide, there are 17 million refugees living in locations outside of their home countries. Refugees endure har harsh conditions and seldom return home, ending up living in camps for many years. Some refugees are able to benefit from job training, leading to a new life. A tiny minority of refugees apply for resettlement, starting new lives in countries such as the US, Canada, Norway, and Sweden. There are 200 resettlement communities in the United States. Boise, Idaho has welcomed thousands of refugees over the past 15 years. Refugees are faced with an onerous task. Our government requires repayment of all expenses within eight months of arrival. Recognizing a need for refugees to be able to gather in a safe place, to learn English, build job skills, develop confidence, and earn money, a group of Boise women organized the nonprofit Artisans for Hope. Volunteers teach basic and advanced classes in sewing English language and how to market products. From donated materials, students make products that are sold through Artisans for Hope retail shop to earn 90% of sales profit. In partnership with the Idaho Commission for Arts, Artisans for Hope started a project to collect refugees' life narratives and stitch their stories in cloth. The Voices in, Transi Voices in Transition project has continued each year with refugees relating their stories of joy, extreme hardship, fear, and catastrophe in their birth countries. In their words, here are stories of perseverance, hope, and survival. Cyprian. In Congo, we had cows, chickens, and goats. I worked picking tea leaves. I liked my job. In 1996, fighting started, and my family left on a Red Cross truck with only the clothes on our backs to live in a camp. Sometimes there was food, sometimes not. I dreamed of my life in Congo, drinking milk and my home. I returned to my village, everything was gone. When we came to Vo Boise, the first thing I did was drink milk. Life here is good. Our children go to school and they help me speak English. Nargis. Afghanistan was very beautiful and people were happy. May 14th, 1992, the day of my engagement, we had 300 people at our party. At one in the morning, the Mujahideen came and then the Taliban. It was a good night for my family, a terrible night for our country. After that, everything changed. It was like day and night. First, my family went to Pakistan then Russia for seven years, then Ukraine, now Boise. Zaina. Born in, I was born in Burundi. I went to a refugee camp in Congo, then Zambia. When I was 18, I walked for a year with other people. We had no shoes, the soles of our feet came off. We had no food, no sleep, and there was fighting all around. In Zambia, the camp houses were made from bushes. I was terrified of the snakes. I am happy here. My children and I go to school. Bima. In Bhutan, we had far a farm with cows, goats, and sheep. It was beautiful with mountains and rivers. At age 14, my family was forced to flee to a camp in Nepal, 
where I lived for 18 years. It was a desert, very hard to find good food. I was frightened when we flew to America. We knew no English. Everything was strange. Now both my husband and I have jobs. Our daughter is in nursing school. And I like to help other refugees. Artisans for Hope prom promotes community and opportunity. Students who have honed their skills and confidence through Artisans for Hope programs have gone on to work in Boise businesses or start their own enterprises. A shining example is Thara Fashion, started by a mother-daughter team. Veronique brought her tailoring skills from Congo and learned to make bags. Artisans for Hope helped Rita get employment at a Boise manufacturing business where she learned to make backpacks. Being able to create packs, bags, and clothing for their shop is the realization of a long-time dream, a long way from Congo. A Boise refugee mother recounts her fears. It took some time when I first moved here, everything was hard. And then one day my son said to me, Mama, have courage. When you walk, walk like the others. Walk like you belong here. Thank you. <laughs>